in this video, we're going to implement some Python code that uh, uses uh, Black Shoals formula from uh, this GitHub you can follow. And then we apply a bisection technique to estimate implied volatility. And again, you can see that how that bisection technique was introduced. I used uh, the quantconnect.com forum there was a discussion on generate. Uh, this code was used in addition to generate an applied volatility surface, which is also um, an important area of option trading. So just to verify that the code works, we'll do a little bit of testing. And I'm going to copy this snippet of code, load it up into the online GBD uh, compiler, and see uh, how well it executes. So we go into online GBD, GBD, and uh, we will pick from the languages available Python tree, and we can paste in our code. And just to note, the uh, code follows uh, Amber Lou's uh, Black Shoals. Uh, we've introduced the dividend yield into that. That's uh, important. And then a bisection technique, which is a, a technique that uh, different from other root finding techniques, this technique uh, ping pongs between a low value, low bowl, and a high bowl value. And we set out criteria for convergence so that the code, it either the estimation converges or we break over a certain number of iterations. So uh, to run our check, we know that uh, for a put option, if the uh, value of S, K, R, T, Q, uh, and if the sigma is uh, twenty percent. Then the value of the put option would be five fifty seven. So in this instance, the market value of the option is known. We know the stock price is one hundred. We know the exercise is one hundred. We know that the risk free rate is five percent. The maturity is one, and there is zero dividend yield. If we run this code, we should get uh, zero point uh, two. In fact, we get 0 0.1999, which is close enough, okay? Now, uh, to test that a little better, we could put in a value of 1045. For, in this case, we're gonna say a call option. Otherwise, the arguments or parameter values are the same. Again, the value here should be uh, 19% uh, percent or 20%, but we'll, get a value here of 0 0.199 and so on. So again, uh, close enough. Uh, we're happy with this level of accuracy. If we went to 0 0.6 here, run, we should get a little bit closer again, maybe uh, 0 0.2, okay, 0 0.200. 0. So the more digits we introduce here, uh, the higher the level of um, accuracy we should have. 